What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to change ROMs on this device and yes in the previous video I have showed you guys how to actually flash this AeroOS ROM and you can check that video from the card right there and also from the description so yep and today let's begin this video where I will show you guys how can you actually change the ROM and here I'm gonna switch from AeroOS to the Pixel Experience Plus ROM and here let me actually show you I'm gonna change the recovery too because the latest TWRP recovery over here actually has that like fix. So I was on the Orange Fox recovery on the Redmi Note 10 Pro but the Orange Fox recovery does not support the internal storage or something like that. And here as you can see on the latest TWRP recovery update that is the version 3.5.1 and here it is the 24th April 2021 build of this TWRP recovery. And here in the change log you can notice that this says like decryption works now. So I will be trying to flash this TWRP recovery first, the image file with the OTG device and stuff. So let me just show you one by one how can you do that. I have like downloaded all the files, I have backed up everything. So if you are doing this, make sure you have a backup of everything of your internal storage and all the files that you have. So right now, let's just boot into the recovery. So for that, I'll just go into advanced reboot and just tap on recovery. And as you can see, we have successfully booted into the Orange Fox recovery, but here it does not show me the internal storage files. So let's just keep the device aside. Let's just lock it over here. And I'm gonna do one thing that I'm gonna plug in and this is the OTG I'm gonna use and this is the pen drive. So yeah, I'm gonna use it that way. But if you have just a OTG drive, like OTG pen drive itself, you can use that too. So I'm gonna simply connect this over here. And after I've connected this, let me show you from the files, even if I go into the USB OTG, it doesn't show anything. So don't panic for that. You just have to reboot the recovery once. So I have rebooted the recovery and here I will just click here and just select the USB OTG. And as you can see right now, it's showing all the files. So from here, first we are going to install the recovery. So I have put that in this recovery folder. This is the TWRP 3.5.1 for Suite or Redmi Note 10 Pro and this is the version 2. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to select the recovery partition over here because this is an image file. So now I'm going to just swipe to install. So as you can see, it shows that it is successful. So right now it says reboot to recovery. So I'm going to tap here. So as you are noticing, it is booting the recovery itself. That is the latest TWRP recovery. So yes, as you can see, it shows me enter password. So I think this is for the like decryption over here. I'll enter my lock screen pin that I have entered in the ROM. So here I have entered my lock screen pin. Right now, I'm going to just tap right. Let's see if it decrypts successfully. So yep, I think it has decrypted successfully, but it shows me this UI. And right now, I'm going to just tap on install. And as you are noticing, we have all the files. So this is great that the recovery's decryption actually is working right now. So from here, I'm going to just unplug this USB drive because I have also the ROM file and stuff over here in the internal storage itself. So from here, I'll just go to wipe and then just swipe to factory reset. And once you have done that, let's go home, then go to install, then go to your download folder over here. And from here, I'm going to select this Pixel Experience Plus ROM and then add more zip and I'm gonna also select magisk 21.4 zip over here. So right now I'm gonna just swipe to confirm flash. Okay, so this is me in the future after I've completed the flashing over here on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. And here I have some things to say because the flashing procedure is not same and it is like in every year there is a new device and there is a new flashing procedure for the same. Let me explain over here what I'm talking about. Like for the Redmi Note 3 and the Redmi Note 5 Pro, the situation is kind of similar. For both of these devices, in most cases, the storage stays decrypted, even though you don't need to flash any FCRIP disabler. And that is not the case similar to the Redmi Note 7 Pro and the Redmi K20 Pro over here. For these two devices, I have to actually like flash uh, if trip disabler to keep the storage decrypted and after Android 9 I think that happened and here we need a fcrypt disabler in the like recoveries built-in feature or a fcrypt disabler zip file for both of these devices for the k20 pro I still flash fcrypt disabler to keep the storage decrypted so that's how the situation is as of right now and even still like right now I do not need any fcrypt disabler file 
for the Redmi Note 3 and the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So I'm just saying like where I'm coming from and I have flashed like custom ROMs on all of these devices and I'm like talking from that perspective that every year with a new device there is a new kind of flashing procedure and here it is no different for the Redmi Note 10 Pro and for the Redmi Note 10 Pro you actually like have right now a weird process to change ROMs like if you're someone who wants to change ROM yes you can but there you will have two consequences and they are separate let me explain the first way you can clean flash a ROM is that you just like factory reset from TWR recovery and then flash a ROM just as I showed you and that's when your data stays completely fine your recovery asks for password but you just enter your lock screen pin and stuff so yeah that's one way to flash but there you do not simply get the setup wizard and something like that you are just booted into the home screen and there you just enter lock screen pin and you are greeted to the home screen and you can use the ROM but you can't simply set up your ROM you have to install all the apps from like searching from play store and stuff yes you can use any rooted apps to like restore your backup like the migrate app and stuff but yeah you cannot simply use the official setup wizard over here if you flash it like that now there is another way you can actually have the setup wizard but then you lose all your data because that's when you have to wipe the data the dalvik cache and the metadata of the device and something else i can't remember but with that method yes it will get stuck into the boot loop so after you flash like that then you have to format the data again then once you format data of course you lose all your data so that's when you need to set up your rom and stuff but then you lose all your internal storage files you have to put them back again so yeah that's how the situation is for the redmi note 10 pro right now so in my personal opinion should you actually flash a custom rom on the redmi note 10 pro right now you might ask so if you ask me personally that way like if you should do it or not I would say simply if you are happy with MIUI just stick with it you don't need to flash a custom ROM just to get a little bit of better performance yes in custom ROMs like ArrowOS the performance is a little bit better but still I won't simply say that you should go through all of these hassles to actually flash a custom ROM if you are someone who just wants a custom ROM that you can use for long term just go for ArrowOS and stick to it you should not actually like change the ROM because if you change it and if you want the setup wizard and stuff and if you want to set up your phone cleanly in every ROM every time you change the ROM you have to format the data as of right now so that's how the case is as of now for the redmi note 10 pro maybe the situation will change in future but right now you have to actually format data if you want a clean experience over here on every custom rom while you have changed your rom but if you want to stick to a custom rom that is like the ROS or the pixel experience plus yes you can flash that and you can update it later so while you are updating let's assume if you have magisk flashed you just like boot into recovery you flash the latest build of the same rom then flash the magisk 21.4 and you reboot you get your latest update installed but if you want to change rom again it will get a little bit effed up so yeah that's how the situation is right now for the redmi note 10 pro so if you're happy with MIUI, then just stick to MIUI. You should not actually move to a custom ROM or you don't actually have to move to a custom ROM to get better performance. The performances of custom ROMs on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, yes, it is better than MIUI, but it's just like in my personal opinion, I would say 5 to 10% better. Nothing much more than that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. And please share this video if you have not yet because this might help some users who want to flash custom ROMs on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. So yeah, please subscribe if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.